now that, that we have the song in place basically or a demo of the song I'm gonna start recording some rhythm guitars I'm gonna pan this back uh, to left and I'm gonna re-record it I'll hit this here as well so I can hear both left and right guitars but I'm just gonna record one side two identical signals will sum into one mono signal which means that these tones are exactly the same and the signal they receive from me and my guitar is exactly the same both are panned left and right but since it's only one signal it will sum and become one mono guitar in the middle of the stereo field once i've recorded two separate takes that are different then you'll get spread so like the left guitar is going to be on the left and the right guitar is going to be on the right so it's basically just for me hearing the guitars properly and then i'm going to actually create a loop here so i can get a really good take and keep that instead of retrying a bunch of times so for me to get some space before I start recording the riff, I need a pre-roll. A pre-roll is a function where the audio starts playing from before it starts recording. So what we have to do is right click this record button here and we have pre-roll and post-roll. So then you hit these three dots here and this shows you the amount of pre-roll that you have. So this is two seconds and that's perfect for me. It looks something like this if I hit play. So that works great for me, so that's gonna be what I'm using. But if you want actual bars and beats and actual counting, you click here, bars and beats, and then I would set two bars for this song, should be enough. And now it's gonna be two bars before. So I'm gonna listen to this take real quick. I'm gonna mute the bass, it's a bit distracting right now. I think that works for this demonstration. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side here. I'm gonna keep the bass muted. I gotta focus some more on the guitars right now. So a good guitar take to me is when the riff you recorded sounds like the way you imagine it would in your head and if it's not sounding like that you might have to redo it if you feel like your guitar take is not sounding the way you want it to maybe your hand position is affecting your tone negatively so i'm gonna gonna show you how different uh, your guitar tone is gonna sound with different hand positions so this is like way back on the bridge here so if i move it forward it's way different So there's a lot of options just where you put your hand when you play. Sweet. Let's listen to that with bass this time. That's cool with me. A little trick you can do, instead of copying these to have the exact same take twice, what you can do is flip them so you put this on the opposite side than last time. That'll give the illusion of having more than these amount of takes, basically. So I'm cool with that. So another very important thing is making sure your guitar is in tune and also that it's intonated. Meaning if you tune your guitar just like, like this, playing open strings, the guitar might not be in tune when you play further up on the neck. And that's intonation and that's something you have to dial in on your bridge. The bridge I use is Evertune bridge, which means my guitar will not detune whatsoever. That has helped me a lot when recording guitars. So if you don't have an Evertune bridge, 
I would make sure to tune your guitar between every take, basically, because guitars can differ a lot when it comes to tuning stability, and you want to make sure that your guitar is always in tune. Let's loop this riff, see if you can get a good take here. Let's do the other side. I'm just deleting all of the old takes here. Let's see what this sounds like. So I'm cool with that. I'm gonna copy this the same way I did. So like the opposite channel. I'm also going to record this quickie teaser thing for the riff. I'm going to trim the silence here. I'm going to turn off the grid mode, put the marker here, Alt X, remove that so it's nice and silent. I'm gonna take these takes that we did, copy them out even more. Cool. Uh, another good thing uh, you can think about if you feel like your guitar sounds out of tune on specific riffs you might have to tune your guitar with those chords you're playing or those notes you're playing uh, and just tune those notes correctly in your tuner and then track your riff so let's record this last one Cool. Other side. Cool. Let's see how that sounds. So I'm gonna edit this to remove some noise here. And when you do this, make sure you're highlighting the region here that you wanna affect. Otherwise you might affect the MIDI or something else. So it's Alt X and here as well. There we go. Let's listen to this from the beginning here. Cool, I'm happy with that.